Hey GED students, this tricky little problem got sent to us on Facebook, on the Light and Salt Learning Facebook page from a GED student Rupa. Um, so problem said find the volume of the figure and gave this illustration here. So at first glance, this seems super exciting uh, because it does say volume and great news, uh, you know, volume is on the GED formula sheet. So you don't necessarily have to have memorized what volume is, but also bad news, you know, <laughs> isn't that just GED style? Good and bad news. And the bad news is, I don't know what this figure is, right? You go to look on the GED formula sheet, you're going to see all these volume formulas, but it's going to be like volume of a cylinder, volume of a sphere, um, or volume of a rectangular prism. Nowhere are you going to see, you know, I don't even know what the shape is, a volume of a boxy car, volume of the stairs, like, <laughs> uh, that's not on there. So what are we supposed to do? You know, this is not a known 3D solid. Uh, so the deal here is, even though you don't know this particular solid, it is what we call a composite figure. It is composed of known solids. And in this case, it looks like we have a couple of boxes that have been stuck together um, or like stacked one on top of the other. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw a line so you can see that. I want you to imagine, let's get a different color here. that this guy actually dropped down here. Maybe I do best to do here. You can tell I'm not a good visual processor. Sorry, you guys. So there, right there. Imagine that I took a knife and kind of put this knife right here and sliced through these two, this cut right here. It would, you know, cut through, and it would end up giving me two boxes, this back box and this front box. And so even though I don't know what this particular shape is, this shape is composed of boxes, i.e. we call those uh, rectangular prisms. So let me erase my little ghetto knife here. And hopefully you can see that I have a back box and a front box. And so even though I can't deal with the volume of each one uh, or of the two together, I can deal with each one separately and then put them together. So let's look at this back box first. So this guy is a rectangular prism, a, a rectangle box shape. Okay, and if you look at the GED formula sheet, you will find the volume of a rectangular prism. It says to find the volume of a rectangular prism, just multiply together the three dimensions, length, times width, times height. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. Now, it actually might be easier to start with this front one because it has its length, width, and height uh, already labeled. Let me show you what I mean. Whenever you do length, width, and height of a 3D solid, it's the three dimensions coming out from any given point. And it doesn't really matter which one you call length, which one you call width, and which one you call height. They're pretty interchangeable there on a rectangular box. So I can see, I, I see my three dimensions. You know, this one is four units long. This one is three units long. And you might say, Kate, that one's not labeled. No, but I see a parallel side. So parallel sides are always equivalent. So if this guy's five, so is this guy. So right there, I can see the length, width, and height of that smaller box, that front box. And so I could find the volume of that piece. Length times width times height would be four times three times five. And let's see, what do we get there? That's 12 times five, that's 60. So that part right there is 60 cubic units. That's what we call um, a measurement, a 3D measurement, a volume measurement is a cubic unit. So 60 cubic units. Now that being said, let's take a look at the back box. It's also a, uh, rectangular prism so we can also find its measurements by doing length times width times height but it's not as easy to see what its measurements are so let's pick any given point again let me get a different color so you can see 
we'll just differentiate here and I'll pick a piece. Now I want that whole back box. So make sure you get all the way to the end. I need to know how long that piece is, uh, how long this piece is and how long this piece is. Well, this one's easy to see it's five. Now you might say, Kate, this one's e not easy to see. I don't know how long it is, but again, all these parallel sides are going to be the same length. So if this one, this one, this one, this one. So if that, those guys are five, this guy is also five. Now this piece, be careful. It's not just the two I want. It's the whole length here. So you might say, I don't have a way of seeing what that is. Well, you actually do. Once again, we can see that we have this little parallel piece. This piece right here, ooh, let's pick up a different color still. This piece right here is parallel to that piece there on opposite sides of that rectangle. So if that piece is three, that piece is three. Then you might say, Kate, that's not the whole length of what I need. I need this and this. Well, but now you have the information to find it. Three and two makes a total of five. That thing is five units long. So this back box is actually a cube. It's five units long, five units wide, and five units high. Five times five times five is 125 cubic units. And if you had this on the GED, you'd have a calculator. So if you didn't know five times five times five, you could do it. Okay, so now what? What am I gonna do with these two numbers I found? Well, what you just figured out is that this blue box in front has 60 cubic units. And this green box in the back has 125 cubic units. If you want the total, both pieces put together, well, let's mathematically do that. Let's total those two numbers. Let's put them together. The 60 units plus the 125 cubic units gives me a total of 185 cubic units. All right, very tricky problem. No wonder you sent it in. Uh, glad you shared it with us, Rupa. This was a good one. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.